I've got my other camera set up, hopefully get a different perspective. I'm going to start with Hive 1. I do have some boxes here. I really need to swap some boxes out so I can unscrew these and glue some of them back together. Uh, the bottom ones were stapled, assembled when I bought them, so I can't pull those apart. It would just be the top box on these first two hives. So hopefully that'll get us part way there. The other nukes that I had, nuke boxes that I pulled off, I've already got them uh, reassembled and glued. I was able to get that bow out just by clamping them and adding some more screws. So go ahead and get this camera started and we'll jump into hive one. Hard part now is getting it, this comb right here to break. It's got a lot of pressure on that plexiglass. Here we go, feel it coming now. Wow. Oh, there's a couple small high beetles. Oh, there's several. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was a little beetle jail, so it's good when they can get them locked in like that. So you want it to happen happen. So let's just see where that was. That was right about here. Interesting. Not many bees on top here. I guess that smoke drove them down pretty good. See something interesting here. Let's figure out how this happened. So there is what appears to be either a wax moth or a small high beetle larvae right here. They seem to be doing it where that vent was. I've seen that before. That's what happens. Maybe they're laying outside the hive, or maybe it's just they're forced so far out of the hive. Right, just gotta get rid of that. Get our frame rest. I think I'm gonna keep them on this side. I really want to get these plastic frames out this year. There's not a lot of stuff going on. I'll try to work on getting those out today. Or at least prepping, making a plan to see what I can do to get them out. That's a lot of honey. Kept honey, a little bit of pollen. I'm seeing drones walking around here. It's all cat honey too. why this hive's so heavy because it's got a lot of stores now we just need to make sure that it has room for them to expand at legs so they don't think they need to swarm as well all right I've got tapped honey nectar pollen there is a queen cup at the bottom but it is empty it's right here Definitely empty. Wow, that is so much. So much capped honey. Should be a hot beetle there, but. More queen cups here. Those are all empty as well. Never listened to myself talk before. That's a really nice pattern. Um, we have eggs all, all the way to the outside edge. Cat brood. Um, center ones are pretty much emptied and polished and ready for her to come back. And then honey. A little bit of nectar. Cat brood. Sorry. Get you there. It's pretty good. Right, I'm seeing a lot of cups here. So what I am seeing here is right, I got my brood minder from below. I'm seeing a fair amount of cups. Um, lot of cat brood, nectar, pollen, honey. This is a really nice frame. 
and these centers are polished but there's nothing in them right now honey nectar pollen cat brood yeah those center cells are polished oh no they actually all have eggs in them Trying to get this off. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's right up underneath there. It looks like there's a wax moth. May have been some of the frass I was seeing. It was actually getting propolized in the edge. That was really close to the notch, too, where I smashed that other one. So that's one right there. That's definitely a hive moth. You can tell by the size. And they're easy to smash. If they're hard to smash and rubbery, it's a small hive beetle. Take a look at these queen cups. I see one with an egg, two with an egg. Crud. Alright, I see a lot with two or three of these have eggs in them, so. nothing with uh, like a lot of royal jelly or anything yet I'm gonna take off what I can here leave this one and pin it I see another cup right up here can't quite see in there and there's nothing inside of that one Queen Castle pull that frame right now Nah, no, probably wouldn't be a good idea. But pull them, they're not going to have a big, strong hive to help feed and form those those into uh, queens. So I'm going to leave that there for now. I will go ahead and stick a tack, just as a reminder that that's where the queens are. Leave a little bit of room there so I can get that out later. Oh my gosh. Ladies. You are impressive. Alright, brood. Some nectar, pollen, honey. She's not come back in through here yet. So many bees on here. Got honey, cat brood, pollen, nectar. She's not come back here yet. Oop. Small high beetle under the frame rest there. Just gonna take a look underneath. We got queen cups here too. These are. Pretty early stage. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in these. Nothing in that one. Yeah, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Alright. Oh my. Cat brood, pollen, nectar, honey. Wow, girls. This is impressive. Pollen. Lots of really pretty colored pollen. Let's see eggs on the outside edge here. Honey. Ooh. I need to look closely at those. Some cups.
That has a larvae in it. This looks like it could be just a drone. I don't know for sure. It's just the way it's horizontal. It just doesn't look quite right. This one is closed. It's horizontal too. I'm going to pop that one open just to see what's in there. never really know if it's a drone or a queen, but there is some royal jelly in one of these. Yeah, this, one. this one has royal jelly in it. This one does not. That one does not. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Worst case scenario, that other frame has stuff on it. But I'm seeing eggs in here, so I think these are just swarm cells because there's so many bees. Look at these bees, they're just stopped. They just completely stopped. I guess they're just keeping the brood warm. It's so calm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Got nectar, pollen, bee bread, honey. Lots of pollen, nectar. Kept honey. Seeing green cups again up here. Empty. Ugh. Can't tell. That probably was a queen here. The way that one was formed. Empty. Empty. You're blocking me from getting in this one. It's empty though. It's empty too. Yep, it's empty. Empty. I usually I scrape these shoulders and stuff at the beginning of the year, but and I will. Just not right now. So this is one of the frames I'd like to get out of here too. This is from my original nuke situation. All right, everything should be broken apart this time. Oh wow, that's really heavy. So I'm gonna set this down here. The other hive is right next to them. Set this on top just to try to keep them calm. Keep the other bees from going in there. Wow, look at all of that. come to the outside wall. Honey nectar. Oh gosh. I did break a little bit three. Honey nectar. It's a lot of weight. Honey, nectar, pollen. Honey, nectar, pollen.
Eggs on the outside all the way to, oh, there's our queen right there. She's looking for a spot to lay, so we are queen right. Let me check the other side. This side is completely covered with eggs. It's completely empty cells that have eggs in them. So they have cleared out for her. It's looking like they have more room. It's just maybe there's too many bees in the box. If I put a super on now, it wouldn't really affect them because they would just move to the brood. Look at all that brood. I dislike this frame. The way it's drawn out, it's not very deep and just another one of these plastic frames that I don't want to have in my hive. It's pretty light. There's eggs in all these cells too. That brood on the outside edge. Connector, pollen. Eggs and different age larvae and cat brood. Some nectar and a little bit of pollen in here. Cat brood, young larvae, all the way to the edge. And then eggs on the left side. Cat brood, larvae, different stage larvae to the edges. Some younger larvae over here. Pollen. This hive has always done the best, but it may be because she's in the end of the line. The other bees may drift and go in here. See nectar, pollen, cat brood. See a lot of royal jelly in some of these cells here. So there's definitely larvae in there and they're well fed. Nectar, a lot of pollen on the edges, cat brood, got some nectar maybe, yeah there's some nectar in there and then there's different age larvae in between and pollen. Wow, pollen and bee bread, lots of it. So they got the stores for their nursery that they're building out. Pollen. Hmm. You know, I've never done a triple deep colony before. I'm not sure if there's any drawback to that besides the amount of time it takes to inspect them or what. Probably turn into quite the monster too, but be curious if anybody's thoughts about just doing a triple deep. Continue letting these girls build so we can have a good. So I am going to give these girls uh, a uh, medium super. There's just a lot of bees in here. I want them to have room so they don't feel like they're crowded. I don't know if that'll help. There just seems to be a lot of bees in there, and I'll check again in a week. Check that queen cell. So I've got some drawn out drawn out comb and then some foundation. And what I'm gonna do is put four frames draw on foundation and just sort of alternate it in here. Alright. Again, 
this may not be the best idea because it's going to be cold, but there's just so many bees in there. Now, I said I'll check them in a week, but if it's cold next week, I can't check them in a week. I'll have to check them on the next warm day. I know they're not going to be like being opened up this, this time of day when it's cooler. So that's the one that I want. All right, so they haven't done anything. It looks like they uh, may have even eaten the egg. There's no royal jelly or anything in that one. So I'm gonna leave that there because it's got queen cups on it. And hopefully if they decide to lay, that'll be the first place that they go. So good deal. I have one is, does not have swarm cells. All right, put that up just a little bit. Hmm, try to find a good place to shake. They don't get all over me. That's a lot of bees, jeez Louise.